Hello, hello. I've arrived. Yes. Hello, Majay. I think. Majay? Majay? Something like that, I believe, is what we settled on. Yes. Hello. Hello. I've arrived. So yes, tonight, Tales of Arise. So yeah, so we'll get started on that. Not close, but good enough. <laughs> I suppose, I suppose I can live with that. But yes. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, so, Tales of Arise. So tonight, that is what we are playing. And so we will get into that pretty shortly here. Before that, or... Yeah, well, I guess, yeah, what I was about to talk about was before that, technically. Yeah, normally I would not be streaming on this specific day, but, uh, yeah, I ended up, yeah, yesterday I changed my, my schedule because I got, uh, Pokemon Violet unexpectedly. Not entirely unexpectedly, but I wasn't planning on it, we'll say. But yeah, basically, I, uh, I was talking with a friend of mine, Judo. They were streaming the game on the day of release yesterday. And so I, I, you know, was talking to them as they were doing so. And I mentioned how I was still expecting my copy to, uh, yeah, I, I had ordered it, but I wasn't expecting it to arrive for another week or so until like the 25th or so. Yeah, I'll, I'm planning to buy a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, it's a pretty good console. I would recommend it. Yeah, because of that Pokemon game. I will say that. Uh, the new, the newest Pokemon game, Scarlet and Violet, are kind of rough. They are kind of rough around the edges. They have a lot of sort of uh, graphical issues and uh, frame rate issues, pretty commonly. If you want to get a Pokemon game on Switch, I think I'd probably recommend uh, Sword and Shield more. You notice that? Yeah, but yeah. If you don't, if you don't mind that sort of thing, then you certainly can. Like I'm in, I'm enjoying. Violet. Like, I do. I'm enjoying it so far. I haven't played it extensively, I wouldn't say, but it's it definitely has the the bones of a good game. But I think the skin is stretched a bit thin over it. Yeah, your fave is red still. Yeah, is that the first one you played? I know that the first Pokemon game I played was uh, Emerald, and that is my favorite after all this time as well. Yeah, nothing quite like your first experience with with, uh, with Pokemon. <laughs> I'm too young. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But, uh, but yes. So, yeah, and it, anyway, so I didn't end up streaming yesterday because I uh, got Violet. Basically, Judo, Judo asked me, oh, do you, you know, could you not go and get it at GameStop? And then I, I thought for a minute and I, and I remembered, oh yeah, I could do that, actually. <laughs> And so I ended up going to GameStop and purchasing a copy of Pokemon Violet. But yeah, I considered streaming it. I did consider streaming it briefly, but uh, I ended up not doing so because I, I decided that I want to be able to, for at least my first playthrough of the game, I want to be able to play it just on my own terms, on my own time. And for one thing, and for another thing, is I didn't want to... I didn't want to delay me playing Tales of Arise. I did. <laughs> I did end up doing that by delaying it by a day. But, uh, you know, I didn't want to put the series on hold to suddenly start playing. I didn't want to put the series on hold to suddenly start playing a new, a new game. And I didn't want to, you know, stop playing. Yeah, I don't. Basically, I just didn't want to put any of the games that I'm currently playing on hold in order to add a new game to the schedule. Especially when, uh, I think, yeah, I don't know exactly how long. I don't know if anyone knows exactly how long an average playthrough of, uh, Pokemon, yeah, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is, because I don't think, I don't think, uh, it's been out long enough for an average playthrough to have been completed. A faster than average playthrough probably could have been completed by this point, but unless the game is very short. I don't think a I don't think an average playthrough has been completed yet. So yes, so you know, however long it would take to beat Tales of Arise or Pokemon, yeah. If you start playing something, you totally forget to play old ones. Then when you return back to that game, you normally start start over that whole game. Yeah, yeah. I didn't basically, you know, I didn't want to. Yeah, I didn't didn't want to lose my 
muscle memory and my actual thought, under understanding, knowledge, memory of uh, any of the games that I'm playing currently. So you know, I couldn't didn't want to didn't want to replace any of them. So that's why I'm not playing Violet currently. Yeah. So you know, it'll be a little while. Maybe by the time that I do play it on stream, some of the some of the bugs will be will be patched. Every Pokemon game is pretty long. It definitely can be. It definitely can be. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to really collect Pokemon and do side quests, yeah. But yes. So, let's see. I think that's basically everything that needs to be said about that. Uh, no more streams for the rest of this week. We are done after tonight. And let's see, what else? Oh, next week, yes. So next week, my work schedule is going to be kind of different. I have a, a pretty strict uh, schedule of how many hours I get a week. And because of Thanksgiving, I get two days off next week, which just means that uh, <laughs> the days that I would, the hours that I would work on those days, I'm going to work on different days that week. So I'm just going to be working, I'm going to be working double shifts for most of the rest of the week. So yeah, I will... I may be a little bit too tired to stream on the days before Thanksgiving and the day after Thanksgiving. But uh, on the day of Thanksgiving, I will also be busy because it's Thanksgiving, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. Um, I don't want to commit right now to saying, oh yeah, I'm not going to be able to stream next week, or I'm not going to be able to stream for a significant chunk of next week. But there's a good chance that we may cancel any given stream or any given day's stream next week just because of the, you know, the special circumstances. So, yeah. So, you know, the usual is 7.30 p.m. every day except for, well, yeah. Let's go over the games first, and then we'll, the games and the days, and then we'll go over times. So, getting over it, per usual, Tuesday, Tales will Rise, Wednesday and Friday, and then the uh, Valhalla collab with Sheppy Sheps is on Thursday. Yeah, we also didn't have that this week because of uh, Sheps being sick. But uh, yeah, hopefully that will all be, she will be perfectly well for next week and we won't have any issues with that. But uh, I guess, hold on, is Thanksgiving on a Thursday? I can never remember what day Thanksgiving is. Hmm. I think... I think it's the 24th, so that'd be a Thursday, yeah. What is the story of this background? Uh, the story of this background is that I drew it in about uh, 10 minutes before I started a stream one day because I realized I forgot to... <laughs> because I realized I had forgotten to, to make a background. If you're talking about the void behind me, don't look at it because it's, it's dangerous. But also, you know, it... To, uh, to, to uh, break kayfabe a little bit, it relates to some lore things that I haven't really taken the time to plan out properly yet. So hopefully it will be more meaningful in the future. Uh, I don't, I suppose you probably, you wouldn't have been around for me to uh, have mentioned it before, but I am planning on doing sort of a redesign and uh, doing some more stuff with my sort of lore in the future. That's it. <clears throat> so yeah. So, uh, yeah, need to add dream catcher so that thing goes away. But yeah, so, uh, like I, like I said, it, it's meaningful, but the, the amount of meaning that it has is, has yet to be determined, basically. Whether, how much meaning it will have in the new lore, I am not, I have not quite determined yet. But yes, so, as I was saying, four times... 7.30 p.m. Central Time, each day of the week that I stream, except for Thursdays. Yeah, do you know how perspective works at least? I know how perspective works better than <laughs> better than this this image may imply. I would I would like to believe. Yes. I do know how perspective works. But yes. Where was I? Oh yeah, so times already went over most of them. And then, yeah, 8.30 p.m. Central Time for the Thursday stream. Yeah, I think that should be everything that needs to be said. So, yeah, once again, 
depend. We'll all try to figure out what uh, do what I can to stream when I can next week, and whatever days that I can't stream, I will not basically, <laughs> just due to whatever whatever comes up, you know. But yes, so all of that being said, I think that we are ready to begin. Ba -ba -ba. Continue. Video game. So yes. So as a quick reminder, or as a quick uh, recap, we are currently. I guess we'll we'll go a little bit into the uh, a little bit into the plot of this game in general, for the benefit of those who may not have uh, be in so familiar with it. So you know this is set in a world called Dana on a planet called Dana, which is uh, sort of a uh, very in close proximity to another planet, another world, known as Rena. And the people of Rena, the Renans, have taken over Dana, basically, and subjugated it for the past uh, about 300 years, I do believe. And so we are playing as more or less a group of rebels, sort of going around trying to, uh, yeah, going around and trying to uh, free the various Danan peoples. Yeah. Uh, this here, Xion, she is actually, yeah, I get a feeling your voice would be amazing for storyteller voice in games. You know, I get, I get that a lot, or, you know, something to that effect. A lot of people call and say that I have a, a sort of storyteller voice. I think, uh, yeah, storyteller voice or like a good radio voice, things like that. Yes, thank you very much. So yeah, Xion here in particular actually happens to be a Renan. She, uh, yeah, she, uh, is we haven't quite figured out yet what she has done, but uh, for whatever reason, she has she uh, wants to kill all of the other all of the Renan lords and uh, put them put them out of commission, which more or less overlaps with our goal of freeing the people of Dana from Renan oppression. Yeah, I never played this game, but I was planning to play it someday. But yeah, it's definitely definitely one that I that I would recommend. It's been pretty fun so far. Yes, and also notable is uh, is uh, Isara here, <clears throat> Isara here, who is uh, relevant to the plot of this current area. We are currently in a realm known as Eldamanensia. Yeah, the people of Eldamanensia live relatively free lives under the reign of their lord Dohalim. Yeah, Dohalim was presented as sort of a uh, a very sort of sympathetic to the to the Danon people. He has like more or less eliminated their, you know, the more troubling aspects of their day-to-day -day lives. They are still legally slaves, but they are compensated for their work. They are not required to, you know, work themselves to death, basically, where they are everywhere else. And uh so yeah, recently, last part, we actually had to uh fight him because uh some some circumstances occurred which reawakened some traumatic memories of him that he had, which uh, in turn caused him to lose control over his uh, magical power, basically, and go berserk, so we had to stop him. Yeah, then we learned that basically the whole reason why he sort of instituted these, these reforms and decided to help the Danon people is because he, he just, like, uh, the sound of sort of people crying and being furious with him, like he just he couldn't he couldn't take it. It reminded him too much of uh, a tr that tr same traumatic experience that he had. So you know he wasn't sort of acting out of benevolence, out of kindness, like we we thought he was. Basically, he was just trying to you know he just found the the sound of crying to be too off putting. Basically, is how he described it. And so we are currently in Eldamanensia. Is uh, sort of his right hand, his uh, second in command has sort of taken taken control of this place in his absence because you know after we fought him, after we fought him, we haven't seen him since. He's still alive, we know, and he's not terribly injured as far as we can tell. But uh, he is he is nowhere to be seen at this point. We don't know where he is, what he's doing. We just know that uh, you know the the 
the elements of the Renan government here in Eldamanensia who are not sympathetic to the Danans are currently sort of staging a coup, taking, taking the place over, and are actively apprehending anyone who they believe to have uh, sympathies for the Danans. And so that is more or less the situation that we find ourselves in. So, obviously, we need to go put a stop to that, because we are, we are here to, to protect and to liberate the Danans. That is interesting. Yeah, I think this is definitely the first time that we've definitely the first time that we've atten attempted to stop a rebellion on this planet. I'm suddenly reminded of the fact that I'm a Danon. I bet all the Danons and Renans in town feel the same way. Rena attacks Dana. That used to just be the fact of life. Excuse me, sirs and madams, I don't think you should be outdoors right now. A bunch of armored soldiers started attacking people out of nowhere, all over town. We're bringing the injured in to treat them, but it's strange. There's some Renans that got attacked too. How does that make any sense? I hear the armored soldiers are attacking people, went towards the palace. I'd stay away from there if I were you. In fact, I strongly urge you to hide in our inn. Some sneaky marketing there, I suppose. Yeah, we'll go around and see what the what the the word on the street is. What we feared has come to pass. Anna and Rena are in a state of unrest after the reminder of the days before Dohalim's rule. The gold dust cats will do everything in their power to carry on Miguel's wishes. We better start by rescuing the friendly Renans. I'll pray for your fortune too. Yeah, it won't go too much around. I do want to get to business here. Hmm. My boyfriend is sick, sick, and he still hasn't come back from the medical facility. Now all this is happening. I keep asking around, but nobody knows any details. Besides myself, with worry, what's going to happen to us now? Well, nothing, nothing too bad if we have a say in things. Hmm. Got wounded over here as well. <laughs> how long have you played this game and how about how long is this game um let's see i think we're let's see it's been 17 parts each part's roughly an hour to two hours so we'll just say an hour and a half so yeah i don't know more more so towards two hours than an hour and a half i guess but we'll just say an hour and a half for convenience sake actually i can you know what I'm not going to estimate my time because I can look on the save file and see how long we've been playing. But I think I think this game is expected to take I think somewhere between somewhere around 50 hours give or take. 30 hours about. That sounds about correct, but I'll double check. Pull it together, soldier. Ah oh, jeez, he went from he kept trying to protect me from the other armored soldiers. But yeah, so you can see that this is a place where there is sort of a uh, there are people here who do believe in, uh, you know, protecting the Renans or uh, the Danans rather. Yeah. So as of as of the end of last stream, we've been a, we've been playing for about twenty four hours. So uh, yeah, we've been yeah. It's about um, assuming the game's roughly fifty hours long, which I think it's somewhere between fifty and sixty. We're about halfway through, I do believe. I don't believe it. How could an aid to the Lord launch a revolt? Will I have to fight my own brethren? What's the right thing to do? A bunch of armored soldiers marched into the palace with a bunch of pomp and circumstance. I tried to ask what the deal was, but they just said to go home. What's going on here? Even the guardsmen got kicked out of the palace. What was Sir Kelzalik thinking? A soldier stood up for me when I was in danger of being mobbed. The other soldiers called him a traitor and hauled him off. You're all okay. I can't promise I know everything, but let me know if there's anything I can share. Uh, oh yeah, these are new questions. So, uh, what's going on? Sir Kelzalik, the Lord's adjutant, suddenly occupied the palace and locked it down. 
but it doesn't seem like all the Renans are following him. That's probably why some uncooperative Renans were attacked right off the bat. Is there anything else you want to know about? What's happening at the palace? The Dan and Guardsmen are an uncooperative Renans have been uh, imprisoned in the palace. I've heard rumors of Zugal-like cries within. Word has it that the Renans who still refuse to fall in line are being beaten and taken elsewhere. There's no telling what they'd do to me if I got appro if I approach carelessly, so that's all I've got. What will you do now? I'm talking with the guardsmen now. I just don't know what to do, though. If only Lord Dohalim was there. And Kelzalik? Sir Kelzalik is a high is a very high ranking official. He's Lord Dohalim's top adjutant. He's honestly never had a very high opinion of us Danans. I was under the impression that he served Lord Dohalim loyally in spite of that, but here we are. And where is Dohalim? Lord Dohalim hasn't been seen since he headed for Razum Quarry. Available guardsmen have been searching the scent high and low for him, but with no luck. Rumors abound that he's been imprisoned in the palace or that he's already been killed. Personally, I'd prefer to believe that that would never happen to him. All right, let's see what the rest of the people around here are up to, and then we'll head on in. Surely things won't go back to the way they were before. No, I know Lord Dohalim will come through for us. Is Lord Dohalim safe? We can't guarantee that, unfortunately. But yeah, last we saw, he'd had his uh, Master core knocked out of him, which is sort of the the center, the 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 sort of the uh, biggest source of magical power that he has. He might still have it, but, because we didn't take it, but uh, if it's been, you know, if it's not active, then he could be in, in some danger. It really is. That is a very good question. Seems reasonable. Let's see. If I remember correctly, that should be second floor on the other side of this room that we'll enter into, or not. What the? That Kelzalik. Did he really manage to deploy these barriers inside the palace? I guess that means we're on the right track to finding him. Is there any way we can get rid of these? If memory serves, there's a release mechanism somewhere. My first guess would be inside his personal office. Yeah, sorry, you're no cannonball law. I respect you at all, but you're no cannonball. Let's see some lore. Very fair, very fair. But yes, I suppose as another quick explanation, a zugal is sort of the is the term for monsters, roughly, in this setting. Yeah, I still need to sort of uh, find out how to 
appropriately use Flaming Meteor, because I'm still not super confident in my use of it. Actually, yeah, let's see if I can... Uh, I think there's only one... Oh, no, there's two. All right. Focus on this guy. And yeah, once... Oh! Ah, but she doesn't have her ability charged up, sadly. Not bad, not bad. All right, and there we go. Ooh, I like that the, uh, yeah, I like that this is, in fact, yeah, the model of, of her shield. Very good, very good. Okay, so I'm starting to get the, the timing of, uh, of her guard ability. Yeah, Kisara is notable as a character for the fact that all the other characters dodge, but she has, you know, a very large shield that she uses to block. I mean, there were there were soldiers around. There were soldiers around. Perhaps not this many, and perhaps not uh, of this sort, but there were soldiers. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Ooh, I like, I like that move, actually. Hmm, I should probably... I just realized, I've still got my boss strategy on. So let's uh, turn the boss strategy off. Uh, uh, uh. Please do not use items. Cool. All right. Back to business. Hmm. So yeah, it is. It is kind of strict. You can't. Uh, there is. There is a pretty. I don't know. It's not super strict. It's not super strict. The timing, but it does need to be. It's not super lenient either. It feels a little, maybe a little bit less lenient than the, the timing on the counter edge from the dodge. All right, we'll have law. Oh, there we go. All right, shield broken. Law doing his job. All right, let's actually hit with our flaming meteors so that we can, you know, get the... I think, actually, I don't know if I have to land them necessarily or just use them. Very nice. All right, whoop, there we go. And another cool attack. Very good. I'm glad that I'm getting those relatively consistently because they are very cool. Hmm. I think that, yeah, one of them just dropped a peach shell. That's very nice, actually. Ah, Law, if you'd be so kind. Pop in and help, thank you. And just and then he just flips off into into nowhere. Not bad, not bad. I just got an achievement for that. Diligent counterattacker. Hmm, okay, so I think, honestly, the timing's not as hard as I was thinking it was, I, I think. It definitely feels easier now, but maybe I've just gotten used to it. And I say, <laughs> before failing it. Oh. Yeah, funny when you cheer, cheer up yourself. All right, so that should be the end of the battle. Nice. Hmm, hold on. There's an X next to that peach shell. Are we, like, do we... Oh! Interesting. We have as many peach shells as we can possibly carry. I guess... Okay, maybe I... <laughs> maybe we can use them, actually. Maybe we can use them a little bit. Yes, let's say... Have at least... 
Let's see. Yeah, if we've got 10, you can use them freely because we can only hold 15, apparently. So, yeah, we don't want to waste any. And of course, I'll probably need to, I'll probably need to set some standards for, yeah, set some standards for if, for more, eh, actually I can just, I can just edit it, edit it if we get into a, an actual, like a boss battle again. Of course, I don't know, I don't know what the, if the max on all consumable items is the same, but. Honestly, if we've got 10 of any given consumable, we're doing pretty good, I think. Let's see, this is also blocked, unfortunately. Let's see, we, we do have a map of this place. I guess we can check. Okay, so that's the Lord's Chamber, which is Do yeah, that would be Dothleem's office. So where is... Hmm, I'm trying to remember. Where is... I don't know where, come to think that I don't have any idea <laughs> at all where Kelselik's office is, but I guess we can just check. We can just start checking doors and we'll figure things out from there. I hope there's something here at least. These are the guard's personal quarters. If you need anything in here, feel free to take it. Is this where you sleep too? I got the impression the guard was mostly made up of men. Oh, the quarters are divided between men and women. We're standing in the women's right now. Gotcha. I better, uh, be careful not to disturb too much while I'm here then, huh? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, eh, I wouldn't if you don't want to end up, eh. Let's take that again. I wouldn't if you don't want to end up on the wrong side of her mace. Let us help ourselves indeed. Let's see, what do we have on the table? Pork? Someone left their dinner here, it would seem. We'll put that to good use, I'm sure. We have already looted this room, I think. Yeah, nothing nothing we can get from that. This seems new. Topaz guard. What? I'm sure it will. Let's see. Who? I assume this is equipment for Isara. Indeed it is. I suppose it makes sense that Kisara... The place where Kisara stays would have the armor that is good for her, or is equipable by her. Everyone has unique armor and weapons, so far as we've seen. It's locked. Alright, more guards over here. Take them out. Oops, ow. Alright, gotta do a little bit better than that. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, we do need to be. One thing that I definitely need to do is I need to remember that, you know, I need to really internalize that I cannot, I cannot use, uh, since I don't have a dodge, I can't like, you know, dodge around to uh, move around a little bit quicker like I, I like to on other characters. Ah, very close to a special attack on this guy as well, unfortunately. Honestly, if they're going to keep dropping peach shells, I might as well start using them. Just just out of hand. Alright. I don't want to use any more right now, because I don't know how often they're going to drop them. And I don't necessarily anticipate fighting a whole lot more of the armored soldiers in the near future. Alright. Not, not bad, not bad. Very good, very good. All right. And now we'll take you out at our leisure. Very good, very good. Hmm. Staff quarters. I don't think this wouldn't have anything to do with Elzelik. Oh, but it does have to do with some more enemies. So, only one thing to be done here. All right, shield down. Whoops. 
There we are. Ah, but he still got his art off before we could steal it. Unfortunate. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I should probably be a little bit more aggressive about using this, considering that it, it's, it can uh, boost break anyone, whereas other, other, other such arts require me to uh, meet certain conditions or target certain types of enemies in order to stun them. Not bad, not bad. Thank you for your assistance, Alfin, as always. Sip. All right. I took a sip there because I was expect expecting that to, <laughs> to, to finish things, but uh, no, not quite. This, that seems new. I'm pretty sure we've been here before. Treasury Key Earth. Even the treasury in Adelina Palace, considering the country's great affluence, the treasury is bound to be impressive. Hmm. It's a selection of books on etiquette. The titles alone make your posture go rigid. Posture check, everybody. Make sure you're standing up straight, not... Or, well, I guess you could be standing if you wanted to, but... Make sure you're sitting up straight, if nothing else. Entrance... Oh, wait, no, this is not where we need to be. So, let's go back to the place where enemies are, and we'll see what's going on. Hopefully, Kisar won't be too opposed to us, you know, <laughs> taking from the treasury, necessarily. Considering that she is probably legally not allowed to to give us access to that sort of place. But, you know, we've got a key, so it's fine. <laughs> That's how it works, of course. Yeah, I should probably put the uh, the launcher on Kisara now that we've got one. I might also want to see what uh, what new arts I can afford from her or for her from her type or from her titles. Yeah, still working towards a title for with flaming meteor, but there could be other arts that could be similarly useful or perhaps even more so. And I certainly wouldn't want wouldn't want to miss out on those. Okay, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident we've been in pretty much all these rooms before. I I was I like to think that I was pretty diligent about it. So I think probably I think probably they've just uh there's just new stuff here considering it's a new sort of situation. Some more boost gauge and some more attack. What do we want to focus on next? Let's see, counter edge on enemy defeat. That's honestly, that's a really good one. That's a really good one that I enjoy having. So I'm going to get that. I want that on as many characters as I can get it, really. And yes, then now for Kisara. Um, I like having Guardian Field around. I don't know if I'm as attached to Tiger Blade, so I'll switch that for Hurricane Strike. And now we have a launcher. Because, yeah, the way, you know. Combos in this game work. You can combo an enemy on the ground for a certain number of hits uh, just from your basic attacks. But then if you want to continue hitting them, you either have to, you know, start an aerial combo or you need to use uh, arts to uh, extend the combo, basically. Like so. And so, yeah, generally other characters also have a. Uh, Yeah, generally other characters also have some arts that can be used in midair, but uh, we haven't developed one, or we haven't learned one on, uh, I haven't learned one on Kisara just yet. We just got her recently. Let's see, that's also the entrance, so we don't want to go there. Dining hall. This is also probably not where, <laughs> this is probably also not where uh, Elzalik has all of his deadly secrets hidden. Uh, no, I don't want to add that to my inventory because I will lose it. So yeah, I really... We're getting, like, so many peach shells. Like, it's... It is... It is unbelievable. You've never been this this full of, of healing items at any point in the game before. Not even of significantly worse healing items. So I guess they're they're expecting the difficulty to be ramping up here. And to be fair, it's 
you know, it's been relatively difficult so far. It took us a couple attempts, or, well, two attempts to uh, defeat Osto Halim. I hope you all don't mind us intruding, and if you do mind, then that's unfortunate for you, really. More so than anything. Not bad, not bad. Ah, there we go. And a nice combo. Very good. It might be, it might be good for me to remember which combinations. Or actually, well, because the thing is, I can't guarantee specific combinations of. Uh, I can, I can choose when that prompt comes up. I can choose one character, one character to trigger that special attack with but the the element the elemental damage assuming that it does do elemental damage i guess i haven't confirmed that but it seems like it would given the animations but yeah the type of damage that the that the move does or the apparent type of damage that the move does depends on the character on the two characters who use it not on the character that i choose specifically Noble room key, a key that opens up the room, the door to the noble room in Adelina Palace. A room on the northern end of the second floor, replete with lavish furnishings. I think so too. Maybe. All right, that was yeah. We were just in the dining hall a little bit ago. Okay. Yeah, we were in the we were in the guard room a little bit earlier. Now we're going to the noble room. All right. Have law do his do his his thing. Very good. I should probably. <laughs> I really have a <laughs> really have a bad habit of using yeah using flaming meteors when they aren't necessary. It is what it is, I suppose. Hmm. I wonder if I set my the AI properly. I guess maybe they... It might just be that they prioritize using healing magic over healing items. Because I think... Yeah, I think it does prioritize things towards the top of the list over... Whoops. Didn't mean to do that, but yeah. I think it does prioritize tactics at the top of the list over those towards the bottom. If nothing else, that's the, that's intuitive. That's the intuitive solution. Oh, hello. You people aren't supposed to be here. We sure aren't, but uh, really you aren't supposed to be here either. You guys are, you guys are rebelling against your lord, and that's no good. You know, we've done that before also, but like, you know, with other lords that are not nice and don't, uh, relatively nice anyway. Again, Bill Halim, Bill Halim seems to be convinced that he's not a very nice person. I think, honestly, I think that even if his, his motive for being kind of nice is not as noble as, as perhaps some others, you know, I still think someone who is opposed to the thought of people crying is pretty, pretty nice as far as, uh, brutal dictators go. Looks like there's nothing to find here. Guess that makes this place a bust. Got any other ideas of, about Phileasis we could check? Hmm. If it's not in his office, then I'd check the barracks, or maybe in the meeting room. Got it. Let's comb through both of those places and see what we come up with. Let's see, we're just in the barracks earlier. I'm sure... We've... I mean, we've, uh, our, our motives have been pretty clear this whole time. We did sort of threaten to kill Dohalim when he was still in charge when we first met him. So I think going from there to assuming, oh, you know, if they're not going to, if, uh, the only reason that we didn't kill Dohalim basically was because he was nice to us. So the people here who are not nice to us are definitely on our, on the list of people that we might end up, uh, enacting some serious violence against. But 
Yeah, I think maybe I should have double checked. Yeah, meeting room, meeting room, or no. No, the meeting room is on the second floor. My bad. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I thought it was on the first floor because I thought I'd already gone into every room on the on the second floor at this point, or at least all the ones that weren't locked, basically. Yeah, meeting room is south. We've had a lot of fights, so I think I'll just walk past these guys. That's the entrance plaza. This is the meeting room. There we are. Well, we certainly have enemies in here. But yeah, we did. We did already enter the barracks. I'm pretty confident. So yeah, I don't. I don't think at this point we have any reason to believe there's anything in particular there. Hmm. All right. Never mind. I was I was thinking about letting the the fire come to me because usually that's a pretty easy uh, counter edge that you can get with a a guard move, but. But yeah, not not as much so with uh, Kisara's uh, shield. Very good, very good. All right, we are okay. Hold on, strategy. What do we hold on? And I really wish I could. Uh, oh. I was just about to say, I really wish I could just change the order that these were in, but, uh, yeah. Turns out we can. <laughs> it turns out we can, actually. So, yes. So, let's set our priorities. First of all, I think, yeah, the most important thing is to make sure that we have a sufficient amount of cure points. Actually, well, yeah. First of all, we'll try to heal with apple gels. Then peach gels. Then, yeah. Prioritize. I don't want to prioritize life bottles. Honestly, life bottles are probably the lowest, lowest priority. I don't want to, I don't want to use uh, life bottles unless it's absolutely necessary. But yeah, fifty percent or less. We'll put that as a high priority too. I don't know how much. The positioning affects the how how strongly it affects uh, how much the AI prioritizes doing a specific thing, but it does. It is relevant. It should be. Yeah, and then we'll yeah true. Actually, treat. That's a full party heal. That's a full party heal. So I don't think I want to. Yeah, I don't think I want to have it be based on own HP. Yeah, ally HP, 50% or less. And yeah, when three, no, nah, two allies meet that condition. And I think that should be fine for right now, to be honest. More treasure to be found. Another person sinner, it would seem. Oh, right. No, don't. Don't grab that peach shell. We can get it later. Nothing else to be found in here, it seems like. There's writing scribbled in the margins. My comrades, in the event of an emergency, you are to disengage the barriers and go provide support. You know which room the release mechanism is in. Do not forget to retrieve the key from the office. Hmm. We do have a key. We do have a key. In fact, yeah, we just, yeah, the key to the uh, treasury is where we're, is what we got from the office, I think. So, presumably, that means that we must go into the treasury. And yeah, the treasury is over there by the Lord's Quarters. Okay. Very good, very good. Yes, now Kisar will have 
no real reason to uh, be upset with us for entering the treasury un uninvited. We have no choice. We'll try not to steal anything too valuable. Oh. Hello there. All right. Yes, law is ready. Law is ready to... Whoops. There we go. All right. Rinwell, you can take their power. As for myself, I will actually... You know what? You can, yeah, burn some things here, too. There we go. All right. No more out of you, ideally. Thank you. Ah, wasn't quite able to follow up on that aerial combo as much as I would like. Very good, uh, very good accidental positioning there. Nice counter edge. Very good, very good. All right, all right. Doing good. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Oh, well. All right, a very, uh, very smooth fight. But yeah, I definitely, for a while there, I was, uh, from our accidental, accidental sort of break from this game for a little while. I was definitely not as confident in my abilities for a while. But we're doing pretty good now. Elixir. Ah. So full, full HP restore and heals ailments and, uh, Knocked out allies. That's nice. And cocktail dress. A vibrant dress of the highest quality that brings out a woman's natural glow and doesn't readily wear out when put through the rear. Do you want to wear it, Law? We could put it on you if you if you if you want. But I assume probably it's for Xi'an, yes. It is, it's funny how often, I think, every time that we've acquired a dress for Xi'an, that, since we got Law, I think he's made a comment on it looking nice. Hopefully we can get you a dress one day, Law. I'm sure you'd appreciate it. It's a shiny gold statue. It must represent a previous lord. Alright, so that's not a release mechanism. There are lots of treasures, assumingly ordered and placed in the palace by past Menentian lords. Now they gather dust out of sight. Maybe the current lord isn't a fan of them. Hmm. Is this anything? Hmm. Surely the release mechanism is in here somewhere. Because yeah, that's what the note said. That we needed a key from the office. And we did get a key from the office. Yeah, there's nothing... Nothing else, obviously, to interact with. Nothing else that looks like it could be a mechanism. Just an exit to the room. These candlesticks, perhaps they are, don't seem to do anything. Statue doesn't do anything. Treasure doesn't do anything. So, hmm. Let's see. So maybe we, let's go back to the meeting room and we'll reread that note. Pardon me again. I hope you're not too bothered by my presence. Yes, this is the meeting room. With the, I think this is a bigger door than the other one. Yeah, it seems to be. Make it more impressive, perhaps. So, let's reread that. So yes, in the event of an emergency, you are to disengage the barriers and go provide support. You know which room the release mechanism is in. Do not forget to retrieve the key from the office. So we got the key from the office, I'm pretty sure. Because, yeah, noble room. That was... That was... Oh, no. Office. Right. We were just in the office. We were just in the office. The office is the office, not the noble room. But yeah, we were there. We were there in the in the office, and we got a key. We did get a key, and we went to the room where the key that the key unlocked, and we didn't get anything. So maybe I'm missing something here. 
nothing else to interact with in here either. I assume the release mechanism isn't here. It seemed like it must be in the treasury. It could be that there's another. Yeah, I'm listening and watching you and playing at the same time. Yeah, what do I what do I think about Lost Ark? I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure I know what that game is to be honest. I've heard the name before, but I don't know anything about it, now that I think about it. Or, yeah, there's not a treasury not a treasury downstairs either, as far as I can tell. Hmm. Puzzling. Alright, so let's retrace our steps here. Yeah, so the the note in the office, or the note in the meeting room says to go to the office to get a key because you need the key in order to unlock the mechanism but the key unlocks the treasury and we just were in the treasury and we didn't see anything that seemed like a release mechanism it might be that i need to like we might need to just like trigger a flag Possibly by going into the rooms in a particular order. Maybe I was supposed to go to the meeting room first and then the office and then the treasury instead of the office, then the meeting room, then the treasury. So we'll check the treasury again, having been in there since then. Hmm. So yeah, there's nothing. There doesn't seem to be anything new to interact with. Now this gather dust out of sight. That does seem almost a, it seems a little bit more conspicuous, honestly, the fact that they haven't been disturbed for a while. But yeah, there's nothing. None, none of these things do anything. <laughs> none of these things do anything as far as I can tell. Hmm. Let's see. What can we... That's... I guess that wouldn't be... Where's the field guide? It's not... Oh, yeah, it's activity record. Hmm. Well, it's not... Find the release mechanism. Not here. It's not here as far as I can tell. I guess we'll try the first floor and just go from there. But yeah, so anyway, if you've... Oh, okay, so the, fourth, the first floor is locked. It is definitely very locked. Okay, so everything that we need to do is presumably on the second floor. Yeah, unless... Unless the key unlocks something else also, which is not unbelievable. It wouldn't unlock the Lord's quarters, I don't think. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if we were in the staff quarters. I know we definitely weren't in the Lord's quarters. We were in the guard room. And I'm pretty sure we were also in the noble room. Yeah. Also, so if if you wanted to to talk about uh, Lost Ark, feel free to to let me know if you have anything you'd like to say about it. Oops. Wrong art. There we go. Break a shield. Thank you. Only one person here can use a shield, and it's not you. Not bad, not bad. Very good, very good. It would still be nice if we had an if we had an art that we could uh, combo into in the air. That'd be very good. Very good, very good. And defeated. Yeah, we definitely. I need to revise my strategy because we are not using these peach shells 
we are not using these peach gels as quickly as we as we could be. I guess twenty five percent is pretty low. Yeah, I just played it for for two thousand hours. Fair enough. I suppose that uh, I suppose you know it fairly well then. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Own HP. Hmm. Yeah, really don't like uh, boss stuff in that game with others. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so toxic stuff always. Hmm. Gotcha. Oops. Nope. Save, please. Thank you. There we are. All right. So this we can't get in here, and this is yeah, Lord's quarters, like we thought. We were in the we were in the dining room. We were in the dining room. Hmm. We can't interact with that in any way to change our circumstances, I don't think. Were we... Yeah, I can play most of it most of the time alone. Okay, so we're in here. Yeah, we were definitely... Now that I think about it, we were definitely in the noble quarters. Or the noble room. We were definitely in here. And do the story of that game. Okay, so there's nothing in here. There's nothing in the office anymore. We've already gotten everything that was in there. But there's nothing... Also nothing obvious in the... This? No, this is... These are just presumably Kisara's shield books. We already got the armor from here. We can't get any anything else, I don't think. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out eventually, I suppose, through trial and error, if nothing else. Noble room, we've already been in there. I don't think defeating enemies would have any real bearing on things. Historically, it hasn't really. Staff quarters, have we been in there? I feel like we have, but I and I also feel like even if we hadn't, there probably wouldn't be anything that's relevant to the matter at hand. Oh, hastily scrawled note, you say. Commence with Mahogsar grows more inscrutable, or commerce with Mahogsar grows more inscrutable by the day. We send vast quantities of resources, but only receive a pittance of dodgy goods in return. Is his lordship aware of this? Hmm. Interesting. So that's interesting. I don't know that that helps our situation in any way, but it gives us more information about the world. Yeah, I don't think that's related to the release mechanism. Unless, of course, the release mechanism itself is a dodgy good purchased from Mahagzara, or Mahagsar, rather. Which is perhaps not. <laughs> Not impossible, but it seems like this is the entrance again. We don't need to be here. But yes, but it seems a bit uh, a bit of a remote possibility that that has any relevance right now. Yeah, I do wonder if that has anything, again, just on a lore perspective, if that has anything to do with the, perhaps the rebels have been sending them, sending them stuff in exchange for certain things. My comrades, once you occupy the palace, engage the barriers post haste. You know which room to leave the release mechanism in. Return the key to the room in the spec return the key to the room to the specified ca cabinet. Hmm. We did we did get that key already. Uh we did get that key already, but I guess yeah. I think the what has been going on here is that the game expected us to do specific things in a specific order, and it got kind of confused when we didn't. So yeah, I'm gonna... I guess we'll go in the office again real quick. 
just to make sure that the key that we got ah okay so the key that we got wasn't relevant Th that was a different key this is this is the real key the real actual key okay okay this is the, the key that we need key to a lord's quarters in Adelina palace this may glimpse a, this may afford a glimpse into yet unseen aspects of a lord's private life Hmm. Indeed. All right. So, yeah, it wasn't just that the the yeah, it wasn't that the treasury we needed to trigger some sort of a specific event in the treasury or trigger some sort of specific event before they would let us into the treasury. It's just that the, yeah, we weren't able to find the actual real key that we need until, until such time as we, uh, yeah, until we had the appropriate, the appropriate notes. Okay. Yeah, I guess, yeah, the game, the game did say that it could be in the barracks or in the, in the, uh, in the barracks or in the office or, yeah, in the barracks or in the meeting room where the information could be. And uh, as it turns out, it was in both. So yeah, maybe I should have uh, taken the game at face value there. Very good, very good. Oops, I was just about to have a sip again because of the... Uh, <laughs> I thought that I had won that battle. Didn't take too much longer afterwards, but... Sit. All right. And open. Nice place, Dohalim has. But yeah, not uh, not too fancy. I expected it to be a little bit fancier, but I guess we've been led to believe that Dohalim isn't a particularly ostentatious individual. I kind of want to save here. I guess. We may not need to necessarily, but I'd like to. Joys of Music, Concerto Pieces for Quartets. An eclectic mix of books on high-level academic subjects, gourmet food, curios, and more. The selection provides insight into the character of the owner. This seems interesting. Oh, okay, there we go. That's the, that is the switch. No wonder it was so interesting. Yeah, they were definitely, they were expecting him to be gone by the time they, they, uh, they, uh, enacted their plan, huh? Unfamiliar instruments are set out on display. You can't touch them. Fair enough. String scores to tug at the heartstrings. All right, that seems to be everything in Lord Dohalim's quarters. Hopefully he won't get too upset at us for our snooping around. All right, we're all healed up. The game is saved. And now it's time to head into the chamber. Where we'll presumably be fighting whatever it is that Elzalik has hidden up his sleeve. That's it. And there he is. I don't believe that you've been given permission to take control of the palace. Know how to use apostrophes, Kelzalik. Yeah, this is pretty ordinary. Pretty pretty un unremarkable in these parts, unfortunately. Maybe not these parts specifically, but hmm.
you seem to be disputing his rulership quite a bit. Uh -huh. I was thinking about earlier what that meant for what that meant for the M on a cultural level. Well, don't worry, we'll be returning it to its actual rightful state. Not quite that, but... Precisely. Yeah, I'm really liking the character of Kisara so far. I think she's probably one of the... Oh, there's the... There is the creature. One of the best... The best characters that we've uh, seen so far in the game. Benaflage. Oh, this thing's poisonous, huh? Alright, so I can... It can teleport too. I assume the teleportation or the apparent teleportation is probably a sort of a, a representation of its ability to, you know, move around stealthily more so than anything. And so yeah, if we if we start to have some trouble in this boss fight, I might change the strategy to make things a little bit more permissive in item use. And set it on fire, of course. Fortunately, its invisibility doesn't impact its ability to be targeted. Very good, very good. Whoop. Very good, very good. And crush that fellow. Nice, nice. Should have been a little bit closer so that I could actually hit him with the rest of that combo, but oh, Greenwell's on the ground. That's no good. So yes, maybe maybe we should be a little bit more permissive with our item use. Strategy. Tactics. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Tactics details. Um. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. What do we want to do? Honestly, 75% or less. Um, treat. That's fine. Apple gel. I'm not too concerned with apple gels at this point. We're really... Yeah, we've got, like, a lot of them. We've got a lot of them. And life bottles, if we have five or more. That seems reasonable. Hmm. You know, I don't, I don't suppose it has anything, it does actually have any benefit, but I'm, it'd be kind of nice if uh, Guardian Field, since that resembles, at least, the, the ability that Kisara has to, or use to uh, eliminate poison gas in the mines, it'd be kind of nice if that, it'd be kind of nice if it uh, still, uh, like, got rid of the poison gas that the Venoflage can, can produce. Very good, very good. All right. Honestly, this, this fight has been a lot easier than the Dohalim fight. Whoop. Very good. Deliver a crushing blow to the creature. I think... Hmm. It didn't, that didn't seem to take off all that much HP from it, to be honest. Hold on, it summoned some enemies. That's no good. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, yes. Oh, oh dear. 
It's already attacked from the looks of things. Oh dear. All right, there we go. So we couldn't actually stop its charge with Kisara because we didn't have the didn't have the ability charged for it. But oh, hold on, weak point. I didn't notice that it had one. Yeah, some of its movements remind me a little bit of a Monster Hunter boss, to be honest. In particular, that sort of poison spew move that it just did, where it like retreated and spat poison, like I just said. Yeah, so let's see if we can can't get some yeah, get some bonus damage on this tail. Hmm. Doing something. Nothing too terrible at this point, I don't think. Whoops. Where is it? Where is it? I guess I don't need to actually know where it is necessarily. Or maybe I do. Okay. Well, <laughs> I failed to to uh counter its charge move again, but we're we're all still alive, more or less, except for, you know, Alfin, who's definitely not, but Hmm. Oh, ah, I'm stunned, I think. Paralyzed, perhaps. Oh, I think this is the first time we've seen uh, Rinwell's Astral Art, actually. Or not Astral Art, her uh, Mystic Art is what it's called. Very good. All right, another teleport? Oh, dear. Hmm. Okay, not not great there. Unfortunately, we didn't quite have the skills that we would need to prevent it from doing all of that. But it was too. It wasn't too bad. Ooh ah, I didn't notice its astral art there until it was a little bit too late to do anything about it. Ah, and we already, yeah, I already used up uh. Rinwell's Rinwell's steel there, unfortunately. Mm, that was unfortunate and unnecessary of me, but I guess if we take it out quick enough, that won't be too big of a deal. But it seems like it's going to do its big run move, so... Mm. Mm, unfortunate. Heal? Not a heal for everyone, but a heal for quite a few. Oh, oh dear. All right, that is Shion down. All right. If I can get a punch out of you at least, Law, that's appreciated. Okay, maybe don't have uh, Kisara die. Okay, there we go. Very good, very good. And precisely dealt with as we would like. Very good. So that was still a rough battle, but we did we did pull through, and we did beat it on our first try, which is honestly better than we do for most of the bosses that we've fought so far. Hmm. Interesting. So this is an outside influence then. Oh, there we are. Excellent. Hmm. All right. Good job. Hmm. I was I was just about to bring up Mahag Mahagsar.
it'll be over for good once we eliminate all of them. Yes, I do. I do like how he we beat up his giant invisible zoogle, and then he pulls out just a knife. I think not. Just like we've been doing. This is what we've been fighting for. Honestly, that's kind of my attitude towards it, too. Well, your assistance is appreciated nonetheless, though, Helene. That is exactly what I was thinking. Crown Contest really is Dohalim's enemy, uh, as much, if not more so, than it is anyone else on our parties. It is what drove him to uh, his terrible act that he regretted so much. Another ally. I mean, hey, we've been fighting with the with a Renan for the whole the whole time that we've been going, really. Very nice, very nice. This has been a challenging time for her. I'm sure that she'll join us. All right. You befriended Dohalim. Isara left your party. Master Core of Earth. The Master Core of Earth. The fruits of Helgen have imbued it with unfathomable quantities of astral energy. And also a cheese fondue recipe. <laughs> the gravitas of that seems a little bit, uh, 
a little bit less than the than the friendship of Dohalim, the disappearance of Kisara, and the Master Corps of Earth. But who am I to who am I to speak on the importance of cheese fondue, honestly? Melt the cheese made by coating the cheese in flour and boiling it in white wine. Most anything can be dipped inside of it for added literal cheesiness. Dohalim's perk. Dohalim perfectly evades enemy attacks. His senses become heightened and his rod will gain momentum, greatly extending his range. His penetration will also rise, letting him interrupt enemies and land critical hits on them more often. Okay, so penetration also affects... We learned recently, maybe not super recently, but I, in, the, in the scheme of the time that we've been playing the game, relatively recently, that penetration increases uh, critical hit chance. But I didn't know that it also impacted... Our ability to stagger enemies. Hmm. Rinwell. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say Rinwell and, and a few others were pretty low on health there, but uh, we're good now, I guess. All right. So now, now that we've got Dohalim out, let's see Dohalim, and let's also see Lore. I don't think so. Sip. <clears throat> Sip. All right. Before I forget, let's also like put Dohalim in the party. Um, I think we'll swap out. Rinwell this time. We swapped out uh, La last time. I want to keep Xion in because she's very good at healing. She's our best healer. And, uh... I don't know. I think... I don't know. It just sort of feels weird, the idea of, of not having... The idea of not having uh, Alfin in the party. Given that he's the character we started with. But yes. Press the directional pad to perform when the boost gauge is full. Grows finds that it can snare fast enemies to keep them down. Okay, so we've got a fast, anti-fast enemy ability. Interesting. Yeah, I suppose it's time to, to greet the people. Or perhaps not. Maybe the people, maybe the people also need some time to rest given what just happened. Not that I can blame them in the slightest. Yeah, Dohalim has a very sort of a uh, purposeful but composed stride, it feels like. Makes sense for someone of a pretty high social standing, or at least one who has been, given that he is no longer no longer Lord, as he considers it. Yeah, nobody nobody here wants to talk to Dohalim, which is very surprising to me. Not a whole lot of people around to talk to at all. Interesting. I wonder if there's any different dialogue for the for the instrument, the violin, I assume it is. Yeah, now that we have Dohalim in the party, considering that I would assume that he if no one else in the world is allowed to touch it. Whoops. Alright, let's not bump the microphone again. That's no good. Yeah, I definitely, I didn't hit the mute button by accident, I don't think. I think we're good on that front. Oh, hold, hold on. Do we not have game audio? Have we not had game audio this whole time? Hold on. Because it, it looks like we don't have game audio right now. Uh-oh. Oh no, yeah, we've not had game audio this whole time. Oh dear. Alright, yeah. This, yeah, let me, let me know. <laughs> let me know if ever that happens, if you don't mind. Um. Oh, yep. Um. Okay, we should be good now. 
Yeah, I've been listening to me, so I didn't even notice. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. So, we should be good now. Yeah, okay. Yep, okay, that was... <laughs> That was very silly of me. Alright. So there is there is a person to talk to here, but it's someone who doesn't have uh, anything new to say, apparently. Yeah, sorry I didn't even think of that. I mean, no worries, no worries. You know, if you notice, let me know. But if, you know, I'm the one running the stream, so... You know, it's not your responsibility to make sure I do or don't do anything in particular. Yes. Unfamiliar instruments. It still says that, even though we have no Philemon in our party, and he presumably knows what that is, considering that he, yeah, like to help streamers. Yeah, we definitely, we definitely appreciate that. But, um, considering that no Philemon definitely knows what that instrument is, considering that it is his possession. And, uh, yeah, he used to be, you know, he used to be big into playing music with a, with a group. I don't know that he still does. Probably not, given uh, given circumstances. Yeah, honestly, I could. One thing that I've sort of not uh, one thing that I've not done historically, but that I, maybe I should do now, is I can listen to. Yeah, just think it was on solo volume, so I didn't notice. Fair enough. Yeah, like one thing, as I was, as I've been saying, trying to say, is uh, I have the ability. I'm playing on a two, two computer setup here, so I've got you know my main desktop computer upon which I am running the game, and then I have the laptop. I have a laptop on which I am running the stream, and so you know I'm getting, I'm listening to the audio from the computer, the desktop. I'm listening to the audio from the desktop and not from the laptop. Like, not the audio that is being sent from the desktop to the laptop for the stream. Hmm. Yeah, so I think maybe maybe I should start listening to the audio on the laptop. I wasn't doing this historically because I didn't want to get any sort of a delay. I wanted to avoid any, any potential delay. But, you know, if, if it gets to a point where... You know, I'm potentially... Yeah, because this, this is not the first time this has happened. This isn't the first time that this has happened in this playthrough. So, maybe I should start... Maybe I should make a habit of listening to the music or listening to the, the game audio through my laptop, at least in part, so that I... Uh, at least in part, so that I know... Uh, I can know when it is and isn't working. Something to consider, I suppose, if nothing else. Alright. I suppose we'll be on our way then. Head back into the sin. Yeah, you have new things to say. This is Adelina Palace. Uh, Oakleam does did live here, so he definitely knows. The Lord has decreed that the palace is open to all people. You're free to enter. I sure hope I sure hope he's free to enter. Hmm? A rented soldier that used to be here? Would you believe that when Kelzalik ran off he went with him? Apparently, so did all the people who took part in the uprising. Many of my brethren didn't feel at home here, so they left. I stayed, though. This place is how to put it. Yeah, not bad. Go with that. Danans cling to their grudge against Renans. Renans cling to their contempt for Danans. Years go by and people refuse to change. This might not necessarily be the end of it. But yeah, I've definitely, I've definitely known that the the uh, NPCs don't react to you differently depending on who you're playing as, but it's especially. It's especially jarring now, seeing people, ooh, cat, seeing people just sort of, uh, you know, make reference to things that involve Dohalim without uh, referencing the fact that they are, in theory, speaking directly to Dohalim right now. 
No matter what happens, we must ensure that the trees remain tended. Now that I'm free, I'm at liberty to stop. I choose to keep doing what I'm doing. I personally love this city. I love its abundant greenery. Earning favor with Lord Dohaline has its benefits too, of course. Don't you think, Lord Dohaline? In the end, I decided to stick with his lordship. What's going to happen to Menencia, though? <laughs> How could they? How could they? He saved me. I think we stick to our current position on the matter, no ma regardless of what may come. Yeah, I agree. We should keep taking in immigrants. If Danans and Renans are trying to coexist, sowing divisions among Danans wouldn't be healthy. We guardsmen can work with the armored soldiers to protect the city. The welfare department can handle residential affairs. I hope you'll chip in when we're short-handed. It's nothing you can't handle if you just take off that armor first. I'm sure the armored soldiers can help too, if taking off armor is the only qualification. Up past here is the training grounds. Anyone's welcome to train here. The reward bonuses, so own your skills and bring your best. Challenge it if you dare. We're gonna, I think we're gonna stop at the training grounds. Actually, not yet, not yet. I'm gonna see if we can, if we're going to be getting, uh, if we're going to be getting Kisara back soon, which I assume she would, we will. But um, yeah, ideally I would like to do this with with uh, Kisara and Dohalim present. Not that I, I don't think we could play with both of them at the same time in the training grounds because I think it's I think it's just one one character at a time from what I remember. I'm having played it so well, so long ago, but um, you know I'd like to be able to do part of Kisara's and part of Dohalim's at at once, ideally. I wasn't sure what would happen to me when I protected her and got arrested for it, but she came out of it fine, and I'm alive. Everything's good. By the way, why is it that I feel eyes on me? Am I just imagining things? Hmm, I think not. You all arrived here from Cislodia, yes? In that case, you should depart via the south gate, rather than the one you arrived through. Hmm. I guess that's, you know, to make our way on to the next realm. Hey, soldier. I don't care if you're a Ren and you can't cut in line. Look, this isn't about Ren and privilege. I'm just carrying a bigger load than you. I think that should entitle me to go ahead of you. The only reason you can carry so much is because you're wearing armor that amplifies your strength. Indeed I am, but the fact remains that I'm carrying a heavy load here. All I'm saying is, okay, calm down, mister, and you soldier, stay in your place in line. Coexistence and co-prosperity. However, no, never forget our ideals. Let's see, nothing new out of you. I wonder how that soldier uh, over over by here is doing. Looks like he's back to his, uh, his favorite uh, pastime. I'm glad you're better, soldier. Ah, nothing's a match for this armor. You looked pretty badly injured. You kept covering me. I don't know what got into me, frankly, but I'm glad I could keep you safe. If, the, if only the land, the if only the land could stay this way, even after the crown contest is over. I never imagined I'd start thinking like this when I first came down from Lenigus. Well, don't worry. We'll do our best to make sure that peace can remain for forever. In as much as it is possible. There, I found it. Now I can finally go back. I don't remember what we talked to you about before that uh, you were looking for, but oh well. Hey guys, nice to see you. How are things in town? People are back to their normal routines, but I guess you could say they're considering the future more. With Lord, Lord Dohaly not present. I mean, I guess he's not present in an official capacity. The rest of us are putting together a new system of government. Most of us are used to work being somewhat given to us by others. We're not sure where to start on our own. It's embarrassing to admit. But we're getting by with some help from the Gold Dust Cats, the Guardsmen, and the Renans. Anything else you'd like to ask? How are Dan and relations Dan and Renan relations going? The Renans who decry the Danans during the revolt have all left town. Oh. Alright, let's try that again. I wouldn't say there's open conflict, but as, as far as cooperation and stuff goes, difference in a, differences in opinion have been thrown into stark relief. 
and there's not much in the way of progress. But both sides want to be closer, so I think it'll work out in the end. That's good. That's good. So peaceful. Sure is. But the grown-up said that it'll be our job to keep that peace going. Yeah, I heard. What does that mean? Hmm, I think it means we gotta do something. But what? I don't know. Maybe that's what we're supposed to figure out. At the very least, we managed to avert the fall of Menencia. That doesn't mean every problem is solved. This will be the hard part. But we've overcome one crisis. Let's all keep our chins up. They say he won't be coming back. But waiting for him is a waste of time. What should I do? I just don't know. Looks like there's a little bit of confrontation going on here. Nice. I'll hold on to that. All right. So I suppose we might as well head towards the towards the edge of town. If Kisara is going to catch up with us anywhere, it'll probably be there. To be honest. Yeah, I don't. We might have enough time to take on the Coliseum or on the training grounds. The sick person they found here was taken into the quarry. I don't know them or anything, but I'd wanted wanted to bring them some flowers. Oops. We had one more person to talk to there. After all that, Kisara never came back to see us. Not yet. I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing. Where would she even go? I hope this place survives. We're probably gonna. I mean, you we're think definitely the gonna Danans be back here at least Lennons once. Have a chance of getting along. I mean, hey, we've again, we've been getting along pretty well with the Renan so far. We didn't really do much to change things around here, did we? We did remove the Lord this who was in charge, technically. And in the end, it was the people themselves who decided to break them down, without any help from us. I hope they keep going. I really do. Indeed. Yeah, well, if you say so, I guess. Huh? Uh -huh. All right. I leave command of the gold dust cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother oh. proud. Oh. <laughs> Like I forgot what I forgot what the that gal Take spoke good care what, her, of Zare for me. what her voice right, was like you? because and so I thought the you cat was it. talking for a Stay safe, very brief Kisara. moment there. <laughs> I was very surprised. I was very surprised that Zari was suddenly suddenly talking when she hadn't before. Did you come to say goodbye? Actually, I was wondering if you could use another companion. Of course, always huh? room for one more. Well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. We just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. These people could use you. I thought much the same thing. However, in the end, something changed my mind. Mm. Ever since Miguel died, I've been thinking a lot about where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives, but we were naive and short-sighted. Mm. I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given yeah. a utopia. Some of the, the moments that I was and quiet And so I here. never bothered to look too far past its surface. To listen to the cutscenes. I chose to be a little bit awkward in retrospect. And because of that, but oh because well. of me, my brother. Magal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right. But in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. 
I learned that nothing in this life is free or gained without sacrifice. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. Hmm. So, decided to join us? I have. And hopefully I can continue to protect Elda Menencia from outside the dream world, for the sake of those still inside. Yeah, and here I thought you joined this. for an opportunity business. on my life. What a business that we have to take care of here, because that one dungeon we didn't, honesty, uh, didn't explore I'm grateful fully. to you. I truly am. I don't blame you for what happened. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renan Lord. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. All I ask is that you do your part. That you fight alongside me. Not just for those who used to believe in your dream, but for those that still do. Dohalim. I understand. I'm no longer a lord anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, this crew just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? What is the next realm we will be exploring? We make for Mahag Sar, the Valley of the Four Winds. Very appropriate. So yeah, let's see. We've been this. This was our third realm, wasn't it? Yeah, we fought. Yeah. We were in, yeah, Laglia, Laglia, Cislodia, Eldamen, and Sia. Yeah, Nochi. Brown springy dumplings combined with potatoes and flour. Pouring some creamy sauce on top makes for a, of it makes for a scrumptious delicacy. Leaf wrapped fish. Fish made cooked by grilling fish inside of a large leaf. Opening it up reveals a tender fish as the scent of the leaf wafts through the air. And these would be... Ah, Alfin. There we go. Comrades in Freedom. Ooh, more Arts Cage for Alfin. That's nice. Alfin's got a lot of titles, huh? Time has come to liberate Donna and bring an end to the crown contest. Alongside allies, I believe in a better future. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I definitely need to start... Uh, some of these points that we've got. I know I was saving up on someone for some reason, but I don't remember who or why. Yeah, let's see what titles Dohalim has. Architect of Coexistence. Though he may have ended the oppression in Elda Menencia for his own selfish reasons, the peaceful coexistence Dohalim brought is real nevertheless. Former Lord. The Lord who presides over Elda Menencia. Having left his post to travel the world, he seeks an end to the crown contest. Illithot, an eccentric man with an endless love for music and the arts, who puts himself in service of Rena, where their power matters above all else. And then, novice solo training grounds cleared, fleet footed enemies if nullified by boost attacks, and subquest fear, no clean big game hunter. Interesting. Alright, I think I was planning on going to the training grounds, but I don't think we were going to have the time for it right now. So let's just get a little bit more lore and I'm then we'll wrap things up, I think. how easily you can move such a giant shield around like it's nothing. Really? It's not actually as heavy as it looks. It's really reassuring to have someone like you protecting us, though. You know, I guess I never realized Every it before. Every good party needs a tank. But looking back, I've always been the sort to put myself in harm's way to protect those around me even before I joined the Elder Men and Sia Guard. So, in a way, using this shield to keep you all safe feels like it's what I was meant to do. You nice. don't need to worry about protecting me. I don't plan on relying on you. She That's okay. being a little bit rude, it as is her It doesn't matter if you walk. do or not. I don't protect people because they ask me to. I do it because I want to, and because I think it's the right thing to do. That goes for nice you too, Dohalim. Me? Yes. You see, you and I both want the same thing. We have the same goal. That means it's in my best interest to continue to protect and keep you safe as well. Even now. <sighs> I'm not sure how much protecting I'll need either, but I appreciate the thought. We could all use a little bit of protection sure here and there. Us proud, Kisara. Right. You can all count on me. And let's see about Kelslik's motives. 
What was Kelzalik even after in the end? Isn't it obvious? Clearly he wanted the throne for himself and was gonna have his goons execute Dohalim to get it. I mean, just he said that he, he couldn't that he hope couldn't, to defeat a lord. He couldn't have. Uh, he should have run while he had the chance, instead of holding himself up in the palace. Maybe he thought he couldn't run. Either way, the outcome's the same. Definitely. So he got desperate. He was definitely and decided inspiring to go with with uh, the argue that he was I'm another sure. victim of mine, in a sense. Huh? There is no greater calling in life to a Renan than the crown contest. Yet I refused to take part. The shock he felt at that must have been truly immense. Enough to drive him to revolt. Even though doing so meant defying Renan hierarchy. I know I've said this before, but Danans and Renans wouldn't coexist here if it wasn't for your stance. But that was no lofty idealism on my part, nor do I feel any pride at what occurred. Spare us the pity party. You literally just joined us to uphold those ideals. That is true. Sion! No, she is absolutely correct. I shall speak no more of my misgivings. <laughs> All right. So that, yeah. So that seems to be everything. Well, let's wrap up for today then. Get over to the back to the studio, as I like to call it. So yes, another fine stream, and another stream. <laughs> I guess. I don't know what else I was going to say. Another boss beaten, perhaps. Another party member added. Pretty nice game. It is. It is. I definitely like it. The, cha the, the eh. combat is pretty reasonably challenging, both in terms of uh, sort of tactically and uh, executionally. Yeah, just lurking most, most of the time, but it was nice. Well, I'm, I'm very glad that you enjoyed it. But yes. So... Now, as per usual, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them while I take a sip and then go over business. Sit. <clears throat> All right, so today has been Tales of Arise. Once again, uh, this was the last stream of this particular week. Next week, once again, things may be a little bit different because my work schedule is going to be very different and be working double shifts for half of the week and then no shifts for the rest of the week but or no shifts for the for the other half of the week i guess i am going to be doing one normal shift towards the uh towards the end of the week also on next saturday but um yeah anyway so the or tuesday and wednesday i might be kind of tired thursday i'm going to you know it's not entirely up to me. It will depend a little bit on Thanksgiving plans and in particular on Shep's plans because I I know I don't intend to be like out of town or anything for Thanksgiving. I'm not going and visiting anyone. But um, actually, hold on. Oh, right. Hold on. Right. I just remembered. I was speaking of Thanksgiving. I was actually asked to. Uh, I just remembered. <laughs> and it's a good thing I remembered now and not like next week or something but uh um yes i was yeah i was asked to house sit for someone someone that i know while they left left town for thanksgiving <laughs> so actually i'm going to be i'm going to be out of town uh for a lot of next week so maybe no streams next week <laughs> actually uh now that i think about it we'll see we'll see but yeah prob probably no streams actually because <laughs> yeah um Maybe Friday, maybe Friday, and I could do Thursday too, because I would, because yeah, if we're, if we're doing the Valhalla collab, if we're doing the Valhalla collab, then all I really need to do, all I really need is a stable internet connection, because Sheps is the one who actually plays the game, he just uh, streams it to me and I share it on my stream, <laughs> but yes, so Thursday should still work out. The rest and Friday might also work out. So I guess that just leaves month or that just leaves the Tuesday and Wednesday streams, which I already said that I probably wouldn't be doing because I'd be busy. So, so yeah. So I guess that's not a huge difference, not a huge difference from what I had already said. <laughs> so yeah. 
Anyway, so probably, almost certainly at this point, no stream Tuesday and Wednesday. Possibly no stream Thursday, depending on, again, circumstances. Uh, and then Friday, I should be back in a position where I can stream. And, yeah. So, I might see if I, I might see about, let's see, when is this upcoming Monday? If I don't have a meeting on this upcoming Monday, which I feel like I probably do, but if I don't, then I'll see about streaming then. Other than that, um, I might also be able to make, I might also be able to make the Saturday work. Okay, so I'll, I'll see what I can do once again. I'll see what I can do. And uh, we'll just sort of, we'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens next week. So yeah, once again, uh, if anyone would like to see any particular target be rated, I would be delighted to, uh, to visit. Uh, just making sure that I have the game saved. Got to double check, of course. All right, so, yeah. And if not, as of course, I can always find a raid target of my own. Take another sip real quick while I wait. I just realized, I don't think I said what the times were going to be, huh? Yeah, I guess... Actually, I guess I don't... Now that I think about it, yeah, since since I won't be working, I won't be working Thursday or Friday. I won't be working Thursday or Friday. So I the the times could also be different. Could also be different for those streams. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Whoops. I need to be very careful about not hitting my microphone because I'm doing that a lot recently. But anyway, so I think. Yeah, so if, if the, yeah, just, uh, just come to see you when you're around here, working and studying on computer and Twitch is always open. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, you know, just keep an e keep an eye open and ear, an ear out and we'll see what happens. But yeah, since I won't be working Thursday and Friday, and since I almost certainly won't be streaming Tuesday and Wednesday, well again, yeah, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be able to stream Thursday. I don't know. I might do an extra long stream on, on Friday. Maybe. <laughs> I feel like every time I say I might do an extra long stream or I might do a stream on a day when I don't normally stream, I feel like almost always that doesn't happen. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I will make make happen whatever I can make happen. And so, yeah. So I think in lieu of any suggestions... I think tonight we'll go and visit, go and visit Altariana, good friend of the stream, long time, uh, yeah, long time collaborator. All right, Altariana, yeah, potato VTuber. Yeah, I think, when was the last time we raided Alt? Relatively recently, I think, but you know, I feel like I feel like going and dropping by. So yes, raid is started. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. Looks like Alt is in the middle of some Splatoon three, so there's a there's a non-zero chance that I might join him for that actually. But let's see, actually, actually I have some cleaning I need to do. So maybe I won't have time. Hmm. Oh well. But no, I, I guess I don't have work tomorrow, so I have plenty of time to clean if I really want to. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, so raid happening. So once again, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night, and I hope that you will be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>